Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a BoxyCharm unboxing for the month of November. I know it's been highly anticipated. I did not realize that this box, for whatever reason, literally just came today. And today's what, the 12th of November? So we're like halfway through the month and my box just came. Um, I do want to mention my hair it looks absolutely crazy right now. I just took a shower. I tried putting it up. It looks just as bad. Um, and I also honestly don't feel the greatest. I don't know if there's like a bug or something going around, but my throat hurts so bad. I do have a lovely cup of tea right next to me. So um, it is pomegranate tea with some honey in it. It's Costco honey, so it's very good honey. Um, but I will be hopefully trying to sip on this throughout the rest of the night to see if my throat feels better. I've been taking medicine for it, but still feel like crap. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's in my box. I'm very excited. I What I want to say first, boxy term. I... I have a love-hate relationship, if I'm being completely honest. So, the last couple boxes I've been receiving, honestly, it was all stuff that I needed. But I've gotten products that are upwards of $100 or more dollars in my BoxyCharm. But lately, it's just been, like, I hate using the word cheap, but very, like, cheap items. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys are experiencing the same thing, but... It's just, it's kind of disappointing, but I'm very much so in love with my subscription box. I don't know why I've been getting it for so dang long. It's going to be hard for me to stop. But for those of you that have never subscribed to BoxyCharm or don't know what BoxyCharm is, it is a monthly beauty slash skincare subscription box. So you can choose the base box, the premium box, or the luxe box. The one I get is the base box, and it is $25 a month, and it comes with five full-size products. So it's cheap. I mean, it's affordable. Um, and sometimes it's definitely worth the money in here. They, they have had some good things. I don't want to discredit them completely, but they're not as good as they used to be, and it makes me so sad. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So this is what the box looks like on top. So it looks like we're getting the pink packaging bags. I wonder if they just did um, the black on black for October, you know, spooky season. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. So like I mentioned every month, this is like the pamphlet that comes in the box that tells us exactly what's gonna be in there and the prices. Um, so it looks like there's a boxy beauty bash going on shop our annual holiday blowout sale now and score up to 80 percent off retail get a free gift valued at over 40 dollars so if you want to try it out go ahead and try it out and then in the back i don't know how well you guys can see this but it has all of the products that come in the box so i'm kind of disappointed number one packaging there are no like little wormies or anything on top just so i can't see right away what it is but I'm going to go ahead and dig into it. The first thing I see is a Glow on Beauty Refresh and Reset Brightening Mud Mask. I love mud masks. Packaging is really cute. I've, I've personally never heard of this uh, brand before. But um, I'm excited to try I love all sorts of uh, masks. I'm very much a skincare person. Um, but lately I have been toning it down just a little bit. Um, because my skin is so sensitive. And it's a colder month. I get really bad eczema. Uh, which creams don't really tend to help with. Which kind of sucks. But it's okay. So how do you open this thing? Oh no. I don't want to rip it. This is such weird packaging. Like you open it up upside down. I don't, I don't know. Oh okay. So this is what it looks like. It's in a yellow little packaging. Well, or I guess the mud mask itself is yellow and it comes with like a little spoon you could use to put it on. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. 
I, like I mentioned, I love skincare. So anything skincare, I am definitely willing to try. Um, and this is, let's see what this is. It's the Glow On Fifth Refresh and Reset Brightening Mud Mask. Dull, uneven skin is finally met its match. Brighten your skin's natural radiance by using the Ginger Mud Mask. Infused with ginger root and taurine to re-energize skin and minimize fatigue, boost circulation, and help with hydration. Use one to three times per week and enjoy the gift of instantly radiant skin. And it's $30, and it's part of their new launch. So I'm excited. I don't know why I'm spending so much time trying to put that cap on, but I won't go on. Next thing, ooh, is the body... Ography Pro. It's a makeup brush cleaner. I needed a makeup brush cleaner because for whatever reason, you know those like little things that they give you, those brush cleaners that come in like the little tin cans? For whatever reason, those things do not want to clean my brushes ever. So I'm excited to try this. Just comes in sleep back black packaging and it is... It says, a quick and easy way to cleanse and disinfect your artistry brushes made from natural orange peel and gently cleanses. This makeup brush cleaner will get the job done while satisfying your senses. This product is also vegan, cruelty-free, and comes in recyclable packaging. And it is $19. Next thing I see is the Hey Honey Trick and Treat Lip Balm. It's berry balm with natural tints. I need a lip tint. My lips start to crack really bad during this time of year um and just normally they're really dry and i know a lot of people say well why don't you drink more water even when i drink more water my lips are so so chapped but this is a cute little little packaging it comes in very cute and it's purple i'm assuming let's see let's see what this looks like You know, it doesn't have, like, a horrible smell to it. I don't know what it smells like. Why is it sticking? Okay, this thing is, like... Did you see that? Like, it doesn't want to come out. Why is it like that? Oh, there it goes. Oh, this thing takes forever to come out, but whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, I like this. You know what I like about it? It's not like a color, like a deep color tint. Mmm, I like this. It smells good. It says it is free of mineral oils infused with honey and jojoba seed oil designed to revive, protect, and repair your lips. So on this little packaging, it says, a berry lip balm formula with rich emollients such as castor bean oil and honey to repair, hydrate, and provide a beautiful tint, and it is $23. I don't really see too much of a tint, but it tastes really good and it smells good too. This next thing is a, re, it is the foundation stick, Trustique foundation stick refillable foundation and blender in a forever case it's kind of weird oh okay so this is actually kind of cool so i thought it was just a case but it comes in this little packaging that makes it look like a little crayon which is actually really really cute um on the top there's nothing really it's not like product or anything but when you lift up this first compartment there's like a foundation in there or a concealer Ooh, there's like a little i don't know if you can even see it probably not but i don't know this might be my skin shade my skin changes so much throughout the year i don't even know what color it is half the time and then there's a let's see if there's anything in here Oh, okay. And then this bottom portion also comes with product. I wonder if this is supposed to be foundation or... Oh, it is. That's foundation as well. So both ends are foundation. You fill it up however many times you want to. And it's supposed to be, like, friendly. You know, zero waste. Uh... 
A buildable foundation that helps to protect against the harmful effects of blue light. The weightless cream-based formula glides on effortlessly for a medium finish. This proprietary carrot complex protects against the effects of blue light with, while hy hyaluronic acid and Vitus Vita activate work to promote a youthful appearance the built-in sponge applies foundation seamlessly the foundation case is recyclable and refillable and is 30 dollars. it's part of tristique's new launch so like i mentioned that's what it looks like it literally looks like a giant crayon i'm living for the packaging i love that and then the very last thing is the prime rose and cheek prime rose and cream lip and cheek cream palette and it's from seraphine botanicals so on the back it says combine hydration, health, and hue in a one easy to use buttery palette infused with luscious plant oils and waxes for your lips and cheeks. The three creamy formulations are made with gold of pleasure oil as well as nourishing shea butter that melts onto skin to enable you to achieve seamless long lasting color powered by evening prime rose, cow's lip prime rose, and cabbage rose extract to help luminize and condition your complex. That is interesting. And it comes in the colors brown butter, rosy pink, and deep rose. Let's see what this is all about. I've never heard of this brand, but it, this one is also cruelty leave free. Why does all this makeup stuff always come in packaging that is so hard to open? Okay. Oh, that's cute. So it looks a little cuter than the the actual packaging but i thought that was really cute and then let's see what these colors looks like Ooh, i have a palette very similar to this but i cannot think of what it's actually called but those are the colors oh. so i'm assuming that's brown butter that is the middle one is rosy pink and then deep rose. Ooh, you guys can see me. Those are what the colors look like. They're really pretty. I don't remember what palette I have that's very similar to these colors. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, so it says on here. Oh, I already read it off too. This is this little thing. $42. I don't know. I think that's a little expensive if you ask me. So, about this month's box. I don't know, guys. Do you think it's worth me getting BoxyCharm anymore? Because I feel like, sorry, it's just my slipper. But I don't know. I feel like every month the I hate saying it gets worse, but I kind of feel like it does get a little worse. Um, there's so many other subscription boxes. They're so much better than this one, but I don't know. Guys, I'm so tired too. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know. I really don't know if I should continue with this box or not. Um, the retail is like $150 of all this stuff combined, but it's just, I don't know. Like, it's not those luxury items that I used to receive, if I'm being honest. It's almost seems like it was just willy-nilly put together. Like, it was like the last couple things that they had, so they just threw it in a box. Um, It's not the worst box ever, but I don't know. I think, I think this box is a dud i hate to say it but i think it is um but knowing me i'm gonna keep subscribing just to see if anything improves ever but i want to say thank you to everyone for watching this video especially if you stuck around to the end thank you so much i really appreciate it until next time i hope everyone has an amazing day and even better tomorrow i should be back soon um, with a subscription box unboxing for you as well as maybe a vlog or two Bye, guys.